Hello! We're ready to start another day of wizarding adventure. So I didn't play yesterday at all. I had a hair color and cut, um, which was like in the middle of the day, and so, you know, like, kind of really couldn't get motivated to play because, um, I had to make sure I was ready for the hair appointment and with me still being in the cast, I'm sort of, um, you know, I, I've got to really plan ahead if I'm going to do anything at all besides get up and go to the bathroom. And so, um, I spent most of the morning just trying to make sure I was, um, uh, uh, dressed and physically and mentally prepared to leave the house and feel, you know, what was it going to feel like to have my foot mostly hanging down and uh, what pressure, I, you know, I'd feel from that, maybe some discomfort. And, um, so I didn't really play. And then when I came back, all of that, you know, crutching along, uh, into my hair appointment and, you know, being there and chatting with my hairstylist and crutching my way back uh, was, uh, well, I guess, a little bit exhausting because I ate some fried chicken and french fries and went into a deep sleep for three hours. I woke up, it was nighttime. So, <laughs> um so I'm back again today. I'm ready to put some really good effort into today. And somebody's here. Hi, big boy. Glizzy Gladiator, how are you? Nice to meet you. Um, just kind of starting with my story of the day before I start. Um, I've never played as a fire wizard. This is my first time. I'm level um, 10, and I just want to adjust my sound because... Um, I really like the music, so when I play it back, I, I like to hear it a little bit. Okay, so this is my, my lady. Uh, I'm doing great, you know, today is a good day. Um, just sitting here on the sofa with my foot in a cast, can't really do much. Um, and I've got five more days in the cast and then they'll cut it out and from what I read they have this like saw or something that promises it won't cut your skin <laughs> and so I'm a little bit nervous about that because um, they didn't give me a very thick cast I feel like um, definitely doesn't have a lot of padding in there and but I'm excited to get this thing off. It's so uncomfortable. Um, and then they'll put me in a boot. Which I'll be in a boot, I think, for another four weeks. But at least I can take it off. Um, and I can shower like normal people, sort of, because I'll still have to sit down. And I, I should be able to be putting some pressure on my, my leg and start, you know, trying to walk again. And I'll start rehab like right the next day so but this does give me oh my gosh I'm a level 13 I thought I was a level 10 I messed that whole thing up wow um so I am um, I'm gonna put some time into wizards I haven't played in a few months probably since the summer so I'm not caught up I'm caught up with the news, maybe, but not the details of what's going on. Because I do still, um, I get, you know, all the tweets from King's Isle, and so I know what's going on. I just don't know the details. But let's start some gameplay. Uh, seeing it today, I've got a lot of side quests and side stuff going on but I'm not really going to do that I'm going to concentrate on um, my uh, main quests so I did get a brand new spell ooh, 
from my professor and I loaded it up. Link, I was super excited to get Link. Um, I just finished a couple of, like I, play, I fought Lord Nightshade and then I fought one of these uh, bosses in Krakatopia and died like three times. The only way that I defeated Lord Nightshade was because um, another person joined, another low level wizard joined. So uh, let's see. Talk to Professor Winthrop in the throne room of fire. So I'm gonna. Oh, I think I can just walk. How about that? I don't want to waste a teleport. But I died a lot yesterday until I finally caught a lucky break and was able to defeat one of those Krakatopia bosses. And the hard thing about being a wizard, a fire wizard, is like I fizzle sometimes because I don't have the best accuracy. And I'm in Krakatopia and it seems like all the bosses are also fire. And uh, I'm using the pet that they gave me. Hey, your fire is in Krakatopia as well. Awesome. So maybe I'll see you in there. Um, I, I, have, I play wizards a lot. I have better pets than this. But um, I'm going to stick with the pet that they gave me. And go through the typical struggles that I went through when I first started playing in 2011. Um, rather than making it super easy for me and having a pet that heals every time I get hit and all that. So, Crocotopia. Here we come. Yesterday as part of the quest, I got a one day rental. <laughs> True damage pet. <laughs> That's true, right? But when folks are first starting to play this game, they don't know anything about training a pet and uh, getting all the good stats. They've just got that pet that comes with, you know, with their wizard. The one good thing is my pet has, um, at least can help me in battle. So, and right now can't help me that much because it doesn't have a lot of happiness. Alrighty, let's talk to the professor. Into the map room. I'll gather some notes and meet you there. I'm a fast runner, so don't worry about me. Yeah, right. Wait, now I've got to go to the throne room. But he's right here. He doesn't even disappear. Oops. Walk, walk, walk. So I'm better at walking with WASD, but I've yet to master it. So I've got to go back and forth. Let's see, throne room. Got a shortcut? No. <laughs> Let's see. Stick to the sidewalks. I kind of wish we had a little bit of peripheral vision. And let's see. Ooh. So yesterday they gave us, um, I guess at the beginning of Krakatopia, they give you a one day rental mount. I've already used that up. 
Oh, this is odd. I have to go in here? <gasps> Why? Throne room fire? I guess. Get Master Duel's easy mount. What is Thus that? begins the draining of your strength and the restoration of my glory. What is the Master Duel's easy mount? Do you know exalted rattle bones and stuff? Yes, I do. In fact, I have, I should have quite a few of those dungeons still in my wizard house. Oh, the lower level ones. So if I did a rattle bone, they can give me permanent mounts. Okay, so I've got a farm for it. So if I did uh, the rattle bones, um, dungeons, then I might have a chance at a mount. So I'm assuming you're further ahead than I am in Crocotopia. Does that mean that, um, okay, maybe I can try that uh, in a little while. we we'll see how hard this is. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave this there. I think I've got a good hand. So I think I left this dungeon too early yesterday. One sunbird. Mm. Go ahead and do this. Yeah. And I don't have any um, bottles of potion. This may be for not. Let's see, I can sunbird this guy. Wow. Ouch, I'm gonna die again. If I come back, I've got to fill up my mana bottles. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Stick with my with this, yes. <gasps> and I go suck it. Darn it. <laughs> yep, I didn't kill him. Oh, where did they learn weakness? And where can I learn weakness? Alright. Poo poo. Okay, so, hmm, where, oh where, is the mana? Want help? Hmm, from the low level would be better, I think. Max is just not quite fair. Uh, where am I? Let's just say I am in... Um, I'm in Ambrose and it's crowded. Area 1. 
But I can do this. Oops, wrong one. I can give you a code. Get a code. Okay, so there's a true friend code. I C L nine eight six. I guess that's I Q. Hmm. And I will. I I gotta play a little game so I can get myself some mana. Oh, hey, who's this? Okay, I do need a little bit of health, but I think if I could just go back into the Pyramid of the Sun, maybe I can just drink some bottles. Hmm. Let's go inside. Let's see, throne room of fire, goes this way, oh I am? Sorry. <laughs> Your chamber of fire. Okay, cool. You can teleport in. Alright, let me get to where I'm supposed to be. Oh, you haven't learned Sunbird? I thought they gave you that in... Uh, Cyclops... Lane or something. Should I wait for you to get it? Teacher gives it at level 10. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Oh, can't X this out. Why? Alright, going in and then see if you can teleport in. Well, this is interesting. Am I? This is the dungeon, right? Whoa. Let's see. This oh the lost palace of fire. After this you go to ice. What in the world is this? According oh, that's to my you. <laughs> notes, the Order of the Fang used magic to hide their location. Only by using a powerful artifact in this map room can we undo their spell. There! That slot must be where the serpent staff would go. And I remember Prince Manu Nerini swung it at my head when the Tuts attacked. I'd rather not have a repeat of that. Could you go down the hall and battle Prince Manu Nerini for the serpent staff? We must set things right. Okay, I'm on my way. Oh, I got wait. my notes now. Let's get to work tracking down the Order of the Fang, shall we? We'll most wait a likely minute. need the use of a serpent's staff, so I'll trust you to procure one for us. Okay, I'm going. Hello. 
Oh my gosh, I'm s there. I am. I was like, am I stuck? <laughs> what in the world? My arrow is not right. <laughs> I was just trying to go through a wall. Oh, wait for me. Uh oh. Wait, something's up with my game. I can't go in. Do I need to fight somebody out here? Oh, I'm just going in the wrong direction. Maybe I need to walk around. Ooh. Let's see. Okay. I'll try that. Let me try that. Let me try to remove the quest helper. Um, quest helper. Off. Okay. Quest helper. On. Alright. Maybe I was just walking to the wrong place. Oh, I see you. I see you. I see you. Oh my gosh, I remember this place. It was so difficult the first time around. Okay, one's fire and one's death. Oh, finally, something helpful pops up. Um, here, I will put a prism on him. Because I'll probably need at least two. And then I'm going to get, I'm going to use Link. I forgot all about that spell. That's a great spell for minions. Yay! Okay. So I'll use Link on this wizard. Let's see. I'll use Link on the minion. You have two blades? Are they different blades? I should check your stats. What do you have equipped? <laughs> Where did you get that? So cloak. The boots. Okay, you're using a good pet. <laughs> Let me focus on my match. I got free from the quest, no less. Oh, wow, where? Uh, let's see, what are we doing? Um, 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 bum, bum. Not this. I have one. Whee! Wait till you get Link. It's awesome. <laughs> That's going to be so interesting to use when I like... I feel like when I grow up. <laughs> okay. Um, now I can use... That two pips. I can use Fire Cat, right? Cool, thank you. That'll counteract my weakness. Let's see if I can say this right. Cosme One. Hey, nice to meet you. How are you today?
just playing some wizards. <laughs> what is that? Uh, ooh, okay. If you do that, I'll do this. Okay. I love the addition of this spell, Heartbeat. What did we get? We got um, hood I can't use and boots I can't use. But they're good for sale. Oops. Alright. Let's see. Ooh, I'm good. Wooden chest, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, better gold. Thank you for helping me out here. This is really cool. Oh, wait. Uh, nothing else with the brazers, right? I think you did that. I hope we're going the right way. Um, let's see, because my arrow says go this way. Talk to the professor. Got it. Good work. Now to use the staff. We'll soon figure out the order's secret location. It's no use. The staff isn't working. What could I have done wrong? <laughs> professor Winthrop stares at his notes in frustration then looks up suddenly with a bright gleam in his eye. That's it! In ancient times, the Eye of Croc was placed here in this room, but Croc and Common recently took it in a show of power. Okay. You must go further into Croc and Common's lair, defeat him, and take back the Eye of Croc. Then we can find the Order of the Fang at last. Okay. Uh... Croco Common Whiz Heads. That's funny. Okay, I've got a long ways to walk. So I'm trying to get Oh, you opened the door. Okay. I'm on my way. I'm running, I'm running. If I had a mount, could I use it in here? Oh, I feel like my arrow's telling me to go to the wrong place. Why is it telling me to go here? Ugh. Shucks. Maybe I'll start this, do the quest helper thing again. Here it is. You must know this by heart. Okay, so, run, 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 is it straight or do I turn? Which way, which way? Where am I going? Yes, I'm going the right way. Woo. Okay. 
to here. Yeah, this way, right? There you are. Okay. Made it! I made it! I made it! I made it! <laughs> Oops. Oh, can I not type? Oh. <laughs> okay, so that oh my gosh, what a what a blade. Um so I'm gonna cross that out, cross that out, cross that out, cross that out. I'll give you a blade. Cause me one. Haha, <laughs> that's a cute emoji. Alyssa eight smile. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna Ooh, I'm gonna Okay. I'll go ahead and do that. I'll convert. Okay, cool. Try again. Oh, no more, um, no convert. Sorry. Um, oh, you have one. Okay, I'm just gonna, oh, they're both fire. Stinkers. This has gotta get better when you go to like something like, is it? Colossus Boulevard, where everybody's made of ice. And you can melt the competition. What? You have Meteor? Already? Does it come with your pets? Oh, that's level 22. 22! What an excellent spell to have at such a low level. Get that blade. Um, alrighty. I will do something. Uh, that. Let's see two blades and a sunbird. You get sunbird. Awesome. Oh my gosh, that's a big hit. For such a young wizard. Um, let's see. Mm, I'll just sunbird. It'll be like death by a thousand cuts. Nice hit. Yay! All right. Okay, what did we get? Good loot. Yes. Look at that. Level twenty, though. All right. Yay! Okay. So, talk to the professor. Wow, this is not close either. <laughs> the farthest walk of my young career. And let's see. Walk left, right? Ooh, this way. <laughs> And let's see, I think I need to take a right. There we go. Uh, 
There you go. Woo! -hoo. It was much easier to walk back than it was to get to where I needed to be. All right, Professor. What's my next assignment? Splendid! We have the Eye of Croc. Since you defeated Croc and Common and Prince Manunarini, you deserve the honor of discovering the Order of the Fang. Got it. Go on. Take the Eye of Croc and the Serpent Staff and place them in the slots on the platform. Then, repeat the ancient words I taught you. Okay. Platform. This is it. No. Oh, this is it. Just don't know how bad I want to open that chest. Press it. You do as the professor says and shout the ancient words Al Kashara Kazam. A bright light flashes, and with a crackle, the map reveals the secret meeting okay, place thank of the you. Order of the Fang. I appreciate Fang. that. You've done it. The secret location of the Order of the Fang is revealed. Never would have thought to look there. It's on another island. Uh oh. I need to gather one or two other things here. Meet me back in the Altar of Kings. We can continue from there. Cool, now I can get the wooden chest. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm believe I'm done in here. I'm gonna teleport back. Thank you, big boy, glizzy gladiator. I really appreciate the help. That was awesome. That's half the reason, or I'd probably say three quarters of the reason why I would stream is because I can get, I can play with someone else. Not, not always by yourself. We finally know where the Order of the Fang is. Now we can find them, get the Crocodomicon, and keep it from falling into evil hands. Now that we know where to find the Order of the Fang, we'll need permission to explore there. Permission? Go speak with Sergeant Major Talbot by the lake outside. Tell him we may have found a way to set things right again. Statue. All right, let's walk outside. Sergeant Major Talbot? What ho! The Order of the Fang may have the secret to defeating the Tatsi, and it's an old book. Indeed, we must ensure that book doesn't fall into the wrong hands then. Their inner lair must be explored at once. There is no time to lose. Right away, sir. We set up ferries to Crocus Sphinx before the crocs attacked. Good thing, too. I barely have time to think. The boat's there in front of me. Take it across to the island. I hope you find this lair where the Order of the Fang hides out. We could use some good news. Cool, I got some XP. I leveled up! Woo! All this time I thought I was a level 10. Now I'm 14. I'm getting so old. Um, you know, another thing that they kind of don't tell you is how to refill your bottles. You could always, um, pay for a refill, but I'll tell you what I am trying to do. I'm trying to, um, save my gold. I only have 3,000 gold, but I'm trying to save my gold for a mount. Um, if I don't somehow look, oh, hey. Aw, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I just like to hear that song. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> That's cool. Um, so, unless I somehow uh, get a mount, like, from a quest or uh, from a dungeon, like Rattlebones, you were telling me earlier... Um, I am saving my gold for, uh, for a mount. So, but, uh, I do need to fill up some of these bottles because if I die, it's going to make it a whole lot easier to re-enter the, uh, the dungeon. 
Uh, easiest one of these. Potion motion. That's got to be these. Yeah, that's right. I accidentally chose the one with the little blocks. And I had four minutes to get into the dungeon. I totally didn't make it back. I had to restart. And walk all the way back to Lord Nightshade. Uh, let me start by... I know this is much easier when you're looking at it than when I'm looking at it. Oh, I don't even see two things together. Hello, just throw something out there. <laughs> ah, oh, up. Ooh. <laughs> Throwing everything out. <laughs> At least they offer you support by clapping for you. Ooh, come on. Oh, that's lousy. <laughs> Got it. Can I not do a real mount up that match? Oh my goodness. Oh, there you are. That's something. Nothing. Ah! Anything is better than nothing. I get uh, looks like I got a full bottle um, play one more time real quick sorry sorry I know this is the most exciting thing to do but I'm going into a new area and I just want to make sure that uh, I can live or at least come back right away Say in Crocotopia, this is probably one of my most. I like this one the most. This one I'm about to go into. I'm about to take that big boat across. Oops, oops. Come on. This one. That one. Ooh, yes. And. Ooh. That one. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, hearts. Oops, this one. Throw it around. What do I have? Um, diamond things and ooh, hearts again. Ooh, ooh, moss. That one. Nope, nope, nope. Throw it around. Oops, this one. And almost done. Whew. Huh. Gold. Nice. Okay. I hope it's two full bottles. Yes. Okay. Uh, back on the trail. Going to. Do we? We don't even talk to him. Just go. Get on the boat. This I thought 
as a first time wizard was extremely cool. One of the coolest things that they do. You actually travel in like a sky boat. So awesome. Boy, they take you the long way around, huh? I guess this is where the dock is. Come along! Hey, you automatically get off the boat. Nice. Okay, go to the Order of the Fang. Um, in the balance school. Oh, okay. I remember that. Am I in the right place? I think I am. Okay, that's not the right place. Just walk. I think I'm not going the right place. I think I missed something. My arrow is not happy today. I think I should have gone to talk to that, um, the balance teacher. Try to quit and come back. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. And then play. Excellent. Ooh. Okay, goal. Go to the Order of the Fang. Greetings. Thanks for the tip. Welcome, stranger. I am Professor Alasred. If you seek the Order of the Fang, you have found it. What brings you here? You tell Professor Alhazred about your search for Malastare. I have seen no Malastare, but I know why he sought us. Long ago, we wrote the Croconomicon. With the power of life and death, he could spell disaster in the wrong hands. Has he always had such a hunch? Oh, hi, Rebel Wolf 08. Nice to meet you. Playing some wizards. So my story is, I am um, I had ankle surgery uh, five and a half weeks ago. Um, I'm in a foot cast, and I'm sort of stuck on the sofa, can't do really anything except go to the bathroom, come back. I'm not allowed to walk, or like, I'm not allowed to put any pressure on my, on my cast, my foot at all. Um, and so... I thought, you know, what better thing to do than to play Wizard 101 and start from the beginning and and play the fire school. I've never been a fire wizard, so um, yeah, it sucks, but I have five more days in the cast and they're going to like, you know, they're going to uh, saw it out, right? But I'm enjoying playing wizards. Oh, hey. Oh, thank you for the follow. I don't even know if I should try to pronounce your name. K U N LOL. <laughs> I appreciate that. That's really nice. Before I say more, 
You must earn the Order's trust. Please go to the Krakow Sphinx. Seek out Shalik the Wise and heed his words. Will do. You're welcome. Thank you very much. This has been fun. I've played um, with a couple of folks who've helped me out here and there. Um, and I appreciate that. This all kind of renews my uh, interest and um, love for playing wizards. I do have other wizards that are um, already high level, but um, during the pandemic I was working from home and so you're in front of the computer all day long and it's just a little bit more work when you work from home than it is uh, working in the office. It seems like in the office you, you stop, you take a break, you chat with people for 20 minutes you know, you, when you go to the bathroom, it's like far away. You go to eat lunch, you know, someplace outside of the building. And with working at home, I got to a point last summer, at the beginning of the summer, where I was tired of looking at the computer. And I didn't want to play any video games at all. I just wanted to walk away from the computer and not see it again until the next day. So, um, I'm excited. This is, you know, new motivation, and I really do like the first-time user experience. Everything's kind of going by really fast. So. Greetings, wizard. So, the professor wants to test you. We are the ones being tested. We put the touch to sleep, but now our work is undone. They will try to enslave everyone. We must reunite the Order of the Fang. We have strong allies in the Manders, but they are struggling. Earn our trust by helping us. While Al Hazred and I remained awake during the Great Sleep, hey. other members of the Order of the Fang did not. <laughs> Rebel Wolf 08, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. And it's nice to meet you. Fire is the best school. I'm enjoying it. I was super psyched to get Link. And now I'm just going to use it all the time. Um, I do. I love playing as a death wizard. Help, now is the time to seek them out. When I last saw General Kaba, our esteemed military leader was holding back the touch so he could cast the sleep. I only hope he has not suffered for his bravery. Go find the Mander Rami. In the Hall of Champions, Rami can help you find Kaba. Hey! Erosar, thank you for um, the follow. I appreciate it. Um, so I think a couple of you are new. I uh, can just give you a quick summary of my story. I am a longtime wizard, one of one player I've been playing since 2011. Um, took a break last summer and because uh, I was kind of tired of being in front of the PC from working from home. Uh, five and a half weeks ago, I had ankle surgery, and right now I'm in a cast, so I'm stuck on the sofa. I don't have anything to do but watch TV and crutch my way to the bathroom. So um, I thought, you know, what a what what a better thing to do than to uh, start playing Wizards again. And so uh, I thought, let's start from the beginning instead of my regular wizards that I have already trained up. And uh, they, you know, they did this whole new first time user experience. And I thought I haven't tried it out. So um, I started from the very beginning as a fire wizard a couple of days ago. And but I have five more days in my cast before they uh, saw it out, which I'm excited and nervous to uh, to do um, the sawing out because I'm a little bit afraid of them getting close to my ankle and the vibrations from the saw not looking forward to that piece but I'm looking forward to getting out of the cast they'll put me in a boot I'll I still won't be walking around like a hundred percent 
but um, so there's still more time for me to play Wizards. But for right now, I'm <laughs> I'm um, I'm uh, uh, you know, but I'm uh, but right now I'm stuck in a cast. I've got five five more days. I get the cast off on Monday, uh, and I start rehab on Tuesday. But um, I uh, I no longer have to work anymore. So that gives me plenty of time to play Wizards going forward. And I'm excited about that. And I'm really liking the first time user experience. So uh, let's see. For true friend code, I'll just do this every once in a while, right? And if anyone like would like to add me, they're more than welcome to. Um, there's one right there. And I'll try to remember to just do this on occasion, right? Oh, right. Hmm. Oh, got it. Okay, the only thing I, I, I guess I ask is if you're too high level uh, to just kind of give me a chance to play some of the quests. But I do appreciate the help. Uh, had some really nice folks help me out so far. Yeah, I do a lot of team up on my um, on my ice wizard, and so I really uh, I enjoy that. And I um, so it's kind of a way to help someone who's stuck. And I. You know, ideally, I try to go to some of the harder ones. I like to do team up in Azteca. That's one of my favorite places to go. So long as it's I'm not in that. I think it's like that pyramid dungeon. I really have to gear up for that because it's long, right? I hope you've come to help, young wizard, because this place is swimming with tuts. You are not the only one looking for General Kaba. The tuts are looking for the Order of the Fang, and I fear we may be detected. We must slow them down before they find the general. Surely a powerful wizard like yourself can take out their minion, the Sphinx Sakwi. <laughs> I like how he does his fa his fingers together like that. That's really cute. <laughs> so, ooh, first collect quest in a long time, and I've got to do four. Let's see. Um, defeat any Sphinx Sawix in the Hall of Champions. So I'm in the hall. I've got to find these guys. And there's... Oh, let's see. Sure you can. I'd be more than happy to add that in if you'd like. To sell for gold. Oh, treasure cards. Oh, okay. Um, You know, I guess if you just have some to just waste, I wouldn't give me any, any really good cards because, you know, to be honest, I have, um, I have the ability to do all of that. I mean, I have six other wizards, and this is number seven, and so I have everything. Um, you know, I would only, only if you have like really trash cards that you want to get rid of. You know, because actually, you know, we you can always sell that for yourself too. Ooh, I think I found my folks, no? Any Sphinx. Oh, how do I know if these are the persons? Hmm. I think they might be, are they? I think these are my guys. Yes? Okay, appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, see, these are ice. I'm so yes, ice. I can finally use my own spells. Um, I think I'll pass. Fire shield. Oh, they use fire shields. Oh. Okay, well, hmm, I'll use Link. 
my new best friend, Link. Such a great spell. Isn't there another fire spell that you get too that's similar to this? That heals and hits? I feel like there's quite a few as you go further along. It's so exciting. Woo! Glacial Avenger. Ooh, Power Link. I'm feeling mighty powerful. Fire Wizards. I'm excited to get Meteor. I think it's better than Blizzard. Ah. Uh, just a dream. Cosme One. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, early AOE, great thoughts, fire's fun, yeah. So I grew up an ice wizard, um, and the struggle for me was 100% real. Uh, <clears throat> it was not easy. And as ice, I mean, you don't have as much accuracy as life. Yeah, you've got, you can tank, right? But I think there were some points there when I was in, oh, what's the name of that school? I mean, that school, that, there was this one, uh, this one world with their trees. Oh, where, what is it? It's like a jungly type place. Hmm. I can't remember. I think it was Celestia. Yeah. It, you jungle in an ocean, right? But, um... Safaria? No, I think it was Celestia. Was it... Celestia? Oh, do I have kid? <laughs> right? So, I grew up an ice wizard. Um... And I would die all the time. There are these things that look like palm trees. I, I thought they were in Celestia. Maybe they're, they aren't. Maybe they're in Grizzleheim? Oh, I'm so lost right now. Um, but there were these palm trees. I thought they were palm trees. And they would... Re oh, they had... Uh, they killed me with vampire. 100% Celestia, okay. They killed me with vampire and golly, I need some help. And I just always felt like they were just sucking the life out of my little wizard. And they would just, you know, if you played two on three or one on two, they were just constantly felt like barraging you with vampire and taking all the health out of me. Who's that? Frank, Frank, Franks. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Brandon's back. Your first wizard was an ice. Totally. I love ice. I do have to say, she's my favorite. Uh, let's see. I am going to hit with Link so I can get a little bit of health back. I'm really riding on the edge here. <laughs> I'm going to have to reload health. Oh, wee! No fizzle. So my first wizard was alive, but first to cap out was a, was a storm. Life. Life was definitely cool. All right, a little bit of health from this, a little bit of extra health from Heartbeat means I don't have to get so many health wisps. So I do need at least 
That's one of four? That's poor planning. Oh, this is not good. One red dot. <laughs> okay. Stay away from Glacial Avengers. For sure. Uh, let me see. Might as well flash up another... Um, True friend code and hi Valcor. Appreciate the help. I haven't seen the Eternals, but I I have it on my list. All right? Let's see. Where are they? There were two that were walking around together. Maybe I should go down here. This is better right here. Yes. Come along. Oh, not a glacial avenger. Ugh. Oh, and these guys aren't coming in to join. Nice. All right, let's get rid of some of these. And I'll go ahead and blade up too. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing um, me low. You're low on health? Hmm. The lead singer of One Direction is in the movie? He's in Eternals? Isn't that the one with Angelina Jolie and Salma Hayek? Huh. Ah. Okie doke. Um. I mean, not that well. You're pretty good. Uh, wow. Let's see. Um, I'll go ahead and heal you. She's in there too. Oh, I didn't know he was in there. I guess you're talking about um, uh, the tall guy, Harry Styles, right? That one. He was in it. He's been in quite a few movies. I thought he had an I thought he had another one out there that he did. All right. Woo. I'm going to sunburn uh, this at like right now. I really wish I had Um, hell, let me see. Link would have been good right now, but it's not up. You didn't know he was tall? Isn't he like super tall though? I mean, when you look at him compared to the other guys, when they stand next to each other, he seemed kind of really tall. Okay, I'll get this one. So 1.83 meters, six feet. So big boy, glizzy gladiator. Are you from the UK? <clears throat> Only ask because my favorite band, oh, you're from Finland. Well, so maybe you might know them still. My favorite band is from England. Ooh, Gold Wisps! <laughs> I learned yesterday what a Gold Wisp was, so I collected. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even say who my favorite band was. So my, ba my favorite band is from England. Um, they really don't come to the United States. Uh, they are McFly. And they got their name from 
the movie Back to the Future, which is a favorite of theirs. They're just super good guys, good people. I think my favorite is my favorite of all genres are always folks who are just really good, humble people. Uh, I'm gonna talk to so, Ramy. General Kaba is safe for now. So far, you are as great and powerful a wizard as the Order of the Fang believes you to be. Woo! General Kaba will speak only to someone carrying the seal of the Fang. To our horror, that evil tuck neck that captured it before the great sleep. We must get it before he tricks the general into revealing himself. We shall see if you can defeat Nekbet in his chamber. Okay. So, I have to take a break. Um, I have to go to the ladies' room. And that means I've got to crutch my way down the hall. So... <laughs> It's not going to be forever, but it'll be for a little while. So I'm so sorry if y'all could just excuse me for like, mm, I think, three minutes. I'll be right back. But um, I do have to, I, I have to go to the ladies room. <laughs> so I'll be right back. I'm so sorry. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Oh, you only see dot, dot, dot. Welcome back. Thank you. Sorry. I had to take a quick break. I had to go to the ladies' room. And so one of the things, when you're just sitting here, all you have to do is to drink water. So I'm just sitting here in the cast. I drink a lot of water, which, you know, that's good. But then it means that you have to... Take a lot of breaks and that's my like only exercise right now i'm really dying i exercised a ton before my surgery and really tried to get everything to be as good as possible tried to get my <clears throat> thighs to be as strong as possible to get me up and down my core to be strong to uh maintain me but i did not think that i would be in a cast this long. This is my second time having this surgery. And last time I was only in a cast for a little over a week. And then they put me in a boot. Which was super. I mean I still couldn't walk. But at least I was in a boot. I could take it off. I felt like I could sleep in my own bed. Right now I can't even sleep in my own bed. It sucks. I spent three and a half weeks, now at least, yeah, three and a half weeks sleeping on the recliner. And now I'm back in my, <clears throat> I'm back in a bed. I'm not in my bed. My bed is too high. So... I'm looking forward to sleeping in my bed. I have this really nice um, pillow top mattress topper, and it's really comfortable. And the bed I'm sleeping in, it's a nice bed, but it just doesn't have everything that mine has. <laughs> Ooh, wooden chest. Cool. Where's there? How do I do that? Nope. 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 So, enter and create truth. Think of. Is that just how you do it? Okay. If anybody wants to add me, that's my code. I guess that's a five. A V, a... Oh, I can't even see. It's so small. B, a G, a 6, a D, 
a K, an I, an R, maybe? Mm-hmm. G, six, D, yeah. That's the, my best guess. So, let's see. This is Rebel again. You added... Wait. Oh, let me read that. But added you on my death. Oh, cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okie doke. Um, supposed to defeat Necbeth and collect the Seal of the Fang in the Hall of Champions. So, let's see. If anybody wants to join, I'll wait here for just a few seconds, then I'll go in. Or maybe I should just go in. And then anyone could just teleport if they wanted to, right? Oh, hey, I missed some of this chat. Kiss that confidence Ooh. goodbye as you see how little you are. Hmm. Hey, they're both eyes. Yay! Don't need that. I can stick with my own spells. Let me go ahead and blade myself. So, let's see. A rebel from Finland. Um, let's see. Get rid of that. Uh, I'll keep that. And I'll sunbird the minion. Finland. Oh, very cold. I was just going to say, I wonder if it's really cold. Negative 20. Shall we swimming in freezing water outside the snow with nothing but underwear and alcohol? <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Burr. Um, no dark sprite. I will go ahead and blade myself. I sure would like a link. That would be nice. Let me get rid of a fire elf. There we go. Okay. Um, negative 20 degrees Celsius. So, that's got to be... Negative 20 Celsius. Uh, like uh, somewhere around 20 degrees regular? No? Oh, I didn't get one. Got a heartbeat. Got a fire elf. So get rid of fire cat. Get rid of that one. I'll do this. So, the, I mean, I play some tennis. And a lot of the tennis is played in European countries and Australia, and they all use the metric system and they use Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. So I'm somewhat vaguely familiar with Celsius. <laughs> Next time you're up in a good way. <laughs> let's see. Um, yes, let's go with the link. That'll be good. I don't need this one or this one. So I'll go with the link, and then maybe I can pick see your heartbeat to get myself out. Uh, Rebel is from the U.S. Big boy glizzy gladiators from Finland. Okay. Negative Celsius around. Oh, negative nine degrees Fahrenheit. Burr, that's cold. I'll go ahead and heartbeat. Give myself some life. That is super cold. So, big boy, glizzy gladiator. Do you play on the U.S. servers? Did you have? Do you have a wizard on the 
on the European servers. Um, I downloaded uh, Wizard 101 in Spanish. And I was planning on playing it. I created the... Actually, I didn't quite create the wizard. I created an account. And I was going to play. I thought that would be a super fun way to learn. Or, you know, to be better at my Spanish. And I, I hadn't gotten around to it. But um, it would be really nice to play it before. If it ever disappeared, right? So... Let's see. Talk to Rami in the Hall of Champions. Hello, Cory Moon. Alrighty. And why is it where is he? Go straight, then turn left. I feel like this area is long. Falcor! Hello! <laughs> um, Alright. Rami? Rainy? What do you got? For you me? have the seal! I am sorry I doubted you, but I never thought I'd see someone more powerful than the Tuts! I must stay here and keep my ears open, but you have restored my faith that the Tuts can be defeated. Thank you, friend. Go, quickly! General Kaba is hiding in the treasure room up ahead! Okay. Uh, Cowl of the Badlands. Ooh, level 15. I'm 14. So, I need to relook at my gear here in a little while. I'm doing all dropped gear. Um, I haven't crafted anything, although I think I took her spell. I mean, her um, the quest for crafting. And i um, not using any of my gear that I already have for other wizards. So I'm really sort of trying to do this like regular folks. Ooh, ooh, bad idea. <laughs> oh, shucks. Run! Okay. I remember this place. Ooh. Never too soon to get some parchment. Exactly, it's totally like starting fresh. I really like starting. I, I This has really sort of re-energized me to play, to be honest. Talk to General Kaba. You bear the seal of the Fang. Tell me, wizard, what events occurred during my great slumber? You tell General Kaba about the Tut's desire to rule over many worlds. If only we had succeeded in crushing the Tuts earlier. I confess, wizard, a soul scavenger sapped my strength by stealing my coin of destiny. I tried to protect the Order of the Fang without it, but to my dismay, I couldn't, and we failed. If we are to defeat the Tuts this time, I'll need my coin of destiny. Please help me recover my strength by destroying that soul scavenger nearby. Level up! Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, who wants to talk to me? I'm Simeon. Come Simeon. and see me when you get a chance. I have news for you about housing. I'm in Ravenwood, oh. near the boys' dormitory. Thanks. I think I've graduated out of the dorms. Uh, level for my other wizard characters. I think um, my ice wizard is... I'm going to get this wrong because I thought she was a higher level than she is. She has the beginning levels of caramel, so she's right on that number. I don't I guess that's 130. She's my highest level wizard. 
Yeah, because if, if 150 is the new high and that's Lumeria, then 140 is the new high with the end of Caramel. So that would put me at 130. I have a Storm Wizard that's 127, a Life Wizard that's 127. I have a Death Wizard that I don't really use anymore, um, who's a level 100. And then I have a new Death Wizard that I was planning to quest on, who's a level 50 at the beginning of Celestia. And let me see. Ice, Storm, Life, Death, Death. And I have a level 10 ice wizard who does low level PvP. So I enjoy low level PvP. It makes me laugh and panic. And uh, I just really enjoy it. Anything can happen in low level PvP. Matches can last a long time. They can, uh, uh, they really don't go that fast, to be honest. So, yeah, I've been playing since 2011. And um, I've always enjoyed my time. I actually happen to live in um, the city where all the Wizard 101 uh, where the KI employees are. <laughs> so, I know I've never, well, I, I've never been to the studio when they used to be um, closer into Austin. I drove by there once, um, but they've moved a little bit further out to Round Rock, which is just a small city outside of Austin. And, um, I haven't been there. I have met some of the folks because uh, we had a we have a gaming convention here in Austin with South by Southwest, and they had a booth there. So I did meet um, some of the uh, the folks who work at Kings Isle, and they were all really nice. Uh, and then I went to PAX South and met a few uh, folks there. I met a few um, players there. Super nice people. But, um, I just really play. I don't really, you know, do a lot. And most of my playing is done by myself, which is, uh, you know, the best thing about streaming is that you do have the opportunity to play with other people, which is, you know what I really I enjoy. Feed on the light in your eyes. Hmm. And it looks like I got another little quest. I need to write these down. I'm never going to remember to go back and talk to these people. Okay. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. And the music is so nice and dramatic. Gonna go after the Sakwi Crusher. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And of course you get the weakness. Nice. <laughs> I like the struggle that low level gives you. You know, going through Imperia, you really only had to like blade twice hit once and everybody was dead. So I'd say that's the nice thing about playing as a low level. Is you do sort of have to plan out more how you attack. Like Nightshade I'm going to have to go back and see if I can even defeat him at this level. I lost three times to Lord Nightshade before uh, another wizard joined and I was able to 
get out of that, uh, finish that quest. So you've been playing, oh, for a little over half your life. That is so cute. <laughs> that is cute. That is so cute. Well, I'm happy that you still play. A lot of people that started when they were your age, you know, you get to a certain point and they just stop playing and, and you know, move on to other things. And that's all great and everything, but, you know... It's just, it's a, it's nice that you continue to play. So he's got one pip, so, and he's going first. Blah, blah. Ah, you've been addicted and unable to escape the urge to play. Well, that's awesome. Um, I went through that period when I first started playing those years in 2011, 2012, um, you know, 2013. Probably 11 and 12 when I first started were the worst. I would take my computer to um, to work and I would put it underneath my desk and I faced my door and my desk went all the way down to the ground. So I put it underneath my desk where my feet were and I had my mouse up on my desktop. And so I would quest and play while I was at work. So I had a little bit of a wizard problem. Mm, should I heartbeat? What can he hit me with? Get rid of the fire elf. I think I'll pass. Yeah, that's pretty funny. That's pretty bad. I had really cool co-workers who knew that I played um, but they they weren't uh, but my boss never knew I played you know but the good thing was I always produced the work that I needed to <clears throat> so every in-between moment when I wasn't like busy doing a specific task instead of goofing off or your typical goof off at work right or uh, chatting with folks or going to somebody else's office and chatting I was playing so all right so I'm gonna go ahead and heal myself a little bit yeah it was a little more social back then hmm I guess yes 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 absolutely I remember those days. Yeah, there was a group of, uh, I think, two or three ladies that I used to play with. Um, whiz, what exactly whiz weddings? I remember that. Um, let's see. I was never married in a whiz wedding. Five hundred twelve. Let's go ahead and fireblade. How do I know how many I have on him? I'll wait up. It definitely was a very exciting time back then. And a lot of us were on the same quest. Um, these ladies I would meet up with they um, they would meet up same time next day after work and we would quest together for a couple hours in the evening and those were really great times I enjoyed that oh okay I mean Wow, that was close. That was close. I need to get better at this. That's cool. Oh, look at that. I got my first jewel. I can go learn about jewels. Oh, where's a pen and a paper when you need it? I think 
let me write that down. Sorry, gotta write that down. Where is my... Well, I had a pen and a paper right here, and it looks like somebody took it. Did they not think I needed to write? Did I create my computer? Ah, oh, yes! It's my computer bag. Yes, right here. Okay, so a couple things I need to do. I need to go talk to the jeweler, right? Because that's one free and easy way to get um, better stats. Uh, I might want to train my pet. Is it double training for the pets anytime soon? And I oh, check my clothes. I said I would check my clothes. So I think I can. I'm level 15. I think I can do that now, right? Uh, I can just sell some of the stuff that's not as valuable. Oh, that looks dorky. <laughs> that does not look good. Oh, look at ice. Crocotopian ice set. I was double XP last weekend. Okay. Double XP. Oh, it's one of my favorite Wizard, one, Wizard 101 holidays. Oh, yes. Look at this health. It's a cute robe. Ooh. Okay. And then how about the boots? Still with the same old boots. Um, all right, the wand is the wand. I've got that blade 50, 50, 30, 25. Okay, same pendant, and there is some pips, but I think I'm should I do the pips instead of the hell? Let's try it. But we'll wait. How do I secure this and lock it? I think I need a. Um, is it lock? Lock, lock, lock. Backpack item lock. This should be default to yes. Oh, okay. Let me see. Since you're doing just dropped gear, I assume you'll be farming Olympus at level 30. That's a good idea. Let me write that down. So I need to do, you know, I've kind of, in some ways, I feel like farming rattle bones is cheating. Um, but farm Olympus is cheating for me because I bought all the the rattle bones um, dungeons. I eventually got what I wanted, was, which is something from some ice thing. I forget what it is, but I still wear it now. Alright. Did I get everything in my backpack? I've got no mount. Still same deck. Got, ooh, a lot of stuff in here that I don't need. Alright. Crystal ball. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was going to save this. Lock it so I don't throw it away. Alright. Some health on my way. But Olympus farming is an excellent idea. And I wrote that down. <laughs> so I don't forget. And I need to talk to General Kaba in the Hall of Champions. I figured this could go faster than uh, it used to, right? The General. With this coin in my possession, I can feel my strength returning. We must prepare for battle. I hope I will not fail. But first, I need my sword. Let's see. You said, um, 
Frank, Frank, Frank. Do you feel like you get catch key more than shock a lock when you open a silver chest? No, actually, my experience is I get a lot of shock a lock. Um, I swear I haven't played shock lock in days. Hmm. It's worth trying, though. I gave it to Rami for safekeeping. Go to him and get it for me. Time to talk to Rami. Wizards. Does my character look like in game? Oh, okay, here's what your character looks like in game. You look like it now. <laughs> now you look kind of like a student of Ravenwood, to be honest. <laughs> Ready to learn. Ready to save the spiral. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm off to talk to Raimi in the Hall of Champions. <laughs> no, you don't look like a gnome. You look like a student of Ravenwood. Oh, that was this was the the mount that they gave you with the beginning quests of um, Krakatopia. So I think I should have played more while I had the mount. Ooh, I'll pass up Raimi for some stone blocks. Everybody knows that stone block is so important later on. Stone block, use it for Honor so one, many. I am afraid that all I have left of the sword is this. Please take it to the great general if he needs it. So you use stone block for all of the best crafting spells. Oh, some mean people in the comments called me a gnome. Just had to be sure. Nah, you look fine. You look great. People are just going to be people. They talk to General Kaba and the Hall of Champions. And no help health wisps on the way over here. They're all on the opposite side. Oh, let me read your question really quick before I talk to him. So which world that you've gone through is your favorite? I thought about this the other day, and at first, I thought it was going to be, um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what's that world called? I can't think of it right now. The one that Selena Gomez was in, the, where you could save her? Um, uh, it's in Wizard City but underneath Triton Avenue. Oh. Okay, at first I thought it was that one. And then, wait, can someone tell me what that was? Crab Alley, yes. At first I thought it was Crab Alley, and then I realized yesterday that I think my favorite world, can I remember? What was I thinking? I enjoyed, I don't think I can think about it right now. What was it? Yeah, that's the whole reason I started playing Wizard 101. It's because, see, oh my gosh, I want all those things that you have in your dorm room. <gasps> You're so lucky. Um... I started playing Wizard 101 because I was told that there was a quest that had her in it 
and that's why you know I should start playing so I was like yes I want to save her <laughs> so I started playing and the and apparently by the time I started playing the quest was gone and they didn't tell me that it was gone until I'd already hit Crab Alley and was getting close and I'm like well, how come I don't see her yet? Like, am I getting close? Am I getting close? But by that time, I had I had played so much of Wizard 101 that I was already, you know, addicted, right? And so I was super disappointed that I didn't get to save her. I did get to see the quest on YouTube. And then I was even more disappointed that I couldn't save her. But I was already, like, well into the game. And, uh really liked playing and so I was hooked but um, yeah I mean I would love to have absolutely anything uh, the statue the photo whatever um, I can't have any of that and they don't um, you can't get it from the uh, the bazaar or anything and I guess I'd be interested to know so you used to have your dorm room set up as a Selena Gomez shrine. Do you still have the the items? Or did they take them away? Because, um... Yeah, I don't see very many people. Like, if I go into a dorm room, I don't see very many people with the, um... You know, with the portraits or the statues anymore. Um, that would have been cool if you had six wizards and then you did the quest with all six and you had like six Selena Gomez's in your dorm room surrounding you with portraits of her all over the wall. <laughs> that would be super cute. I have yet to see, uh, anything like that, but that would be super cute. Okay. So if you have them, that would be, that would be super cute. At least they didn't take them away when they uh, took away the quest. Because I did try to ask King's Isle, you know, why she was gone. And you couldn't, like, have, you couldn't maintain the quest. And I really probably have to re-ask the question again to remember. But it was something like, you know, it was a Disney thing and... You know, they, it just had to like, it just had to end. So, and maybe when Disney says it's over, it's over. So, but I did promise that um, if I ever see her again, I did get a chance to meet her once um, quite a few years ago. We bought tickets to see all of her concerts here in Texas. And, um, so we went to see her in, in San Antonio, Houston, in Dallas. We did a meet and greet in Dallas. Let me read what you're saying. Let's see. Animu, her contract with Wizard 101 ended, therefore they removed that quest, plus things don't age well. Yeah, but her song, I think is a classic, and so th they were doing, what was it? A Year Without Rain, absolutely one of my favorite songs. When it comes on, I'll probably, when it comes on my, my playlist, I'll probably re repeat it like three more times. You know. So, love that, love that. But I did say, you know, if um, I did get a chance to meet her at a meet and greet. Super, super sweet. So nice. Um, so humble, um, and her hair is as soft as silk. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I mean, I can still feel it in my fingertips now, how soft her hair was. Um, and she gives great hugs. Uh, just very super sweet, very nice person. Um, and uh, I was like, oh, the next time I meet her, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask her to come back to the spiral. Maybe she can work something out, you know. Maybe it can have something to do with uh, 
mental health or wellness or um, you know an appreciation for yourself and for who you were meant to be uh, she says that a lot because uh, you know you are whoever there's only one you and you are who you are uh, meant to be you're not meant to be a copy of anyone else uh, just meant to be who you are and it's just beautiful message that she puts out with her makeup line um, but big huge fan of hers absolutely love her she is super sweet and uh, let's talk to the general what this is just a scabbard how can I fight the tuts with just a scabbard we must rebuild my weapon then first for the blade I will need eye shards from the glacial avengers Eye shards should do the trick. You should be able to find them in this area. Hmm. Glacial Avenger. Flame lick boots. That's funny. <laughs> that is silly. Okay. Advice to self. Have some health bubbles before you, uh try to fight these guys oh come on one little bubble Ooh, there's two can I get the health before I get in the fight nope <laughs> oh come on little wizard I'm gonna go ahead and fire blade real quick oh just the guy I was hoping not to get into battle with Sunbird, yeah. Oh, come on. Uh oh. <laughs> Shucks. Ow. Uh. Oh, I have some uh, power pips. Nice. Okay. 80%. That's a lot. Who else besides ice is the opposite of fire? It's like, um, if you're an ice wizard, you match up well against a fire wizard. And... A death wizard, right? But what's the opposite for fire? Um, uh, sunbird. Oh, good. Got uh, two pips I can link. And I need to get rid of the pixie and the fire cats. I really need uh, that heartbeat, would be great right now. Ugh. Um, there's heartbeat. So I'll link. This is a great starter wand. I mean, with that 5% accuracy, I don't know if they made an adjustment in the gameplay so that you don't fizzle as much, but it definitely helps to have more accuracy in this game. All right, I don't need that. I'm going first. Mm, go ahead and sunbird. I hope it's not a mistake. You found the portraits. 
No sign of the statue. Well, at least you got to keep some stuff. Oh, yes, the food. Well, Frank, 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 sounds like you've been playing a long time. Kid me used my house as storage facilities, and they're impossible to navigate. Well, you know, um, I got the backpack, is it backpack? That butler, that housing butler. So I can go to the butler and type in whatever I'm looking for and then he'll he'll find it for me. He'll tell me exactly where they all are. So that butler, whatever he is. <laughs> Let's see, I need some more of those. Oh no, what? <laughs> ah! Oh. So you made a new account when you came back to the game so you don't have to worry about it too much. <laughs> Yeah, that backpack. Uh, what's not a backpack butler? What is it called? Uh, he's some kind of butler. He's actually super handy. I did. A, I tried to do a lot of stories because I keep all my pets. Um, at least try to keep one copy of a good pet. Um, if I, you know, get one, no matter what school it is. So I have some fire pets and myth pets that I've not used. Um, and so what I do is I have my different houses have different pets. Like I have, um, the Sun Palace, I think is what it is. It's, um, houses my, I think it's my myth pet. And... Some other house, I forget what it's called, it looks crocotopy-ish, houses my balance pets. Well, well, well. Definitely he's going down. And then the glacier guy, I could link again. Yeah, um, I try to be a little bit organized, you know, I'm really, uh, I was, I'm a bit of a planner with my mind. Oh, super cool name, Spidey versus Batman. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, it's nice to meet you. And let's see, I think I'm gonna, he has one pip, I have plenty. Mm. Let's fire off. Take him out. Yeah, I'm a bit of a planner in real life. Love to, um, like, research stuff, plan it out. Um... You know analyze stuff like when we got uh, we were losing our regular cable probably one of the few people in the world that has like regular cable um, we lost it in November and so I had to get like a streaming platform and had to you know look at what are the channels that we really need to have and who offers them and so I had to compare direct TV streaming to YouTube streaming. 
um, to, ooh, ooh, ooh. okay, that's not anything. And Hulu Live and Pluto and Sling. At the end of the day, I went with direct TV streaming because having those regional sports was really important to us. It also had the tennis channel, which I watch all the time, all day long, and um, or at least you know when I'm home and not uh, when I wasn't working. There we go. Here's my guy, General Kaba. Mm, these will do nicely. Well done. All right. Now I need some spider carapace to form the hilt. Ice weaver shells should be perfect for it. Win four of them for me in the grand arena. Okie dokie. God, this is far. Grand arena. Teleporter hub. If I hit X. And then the fountain. That's the only place I can go. <laughs> Oh wait, it says I can go this way for the Grand Arena. I hope I'm going to the... I feel like I'm not going the right way. Oh, I am going the right way. Yes! Ah, the Grand Arena! And then, oh! Ice Weavers. Ooh, I don't like these guys. <gasps> they were not my favorites. I think these... Oh yeah, I do too. I think the teleporters are a an excellent addition to the game. You can always walk if you want to, right? And in some cases... Once you don't know where, at the very beginning, when you don't know where the teleporters are taking you, you know, you end up walking at the very beginning until you figure out this is what to do. But for those of us who've played before and have an idea of what's coming and what to do, the teleporters are a lifesaver. So he gets hit with 48 and I get 15. Urgh, that's really low. Take that out and that out. And I will fire blade again. But like I was saying with the cable stuff, I'm a really big planner. So I laid out what were the channels that we had before because we had Google Fiber TV, which was excellent offered every channel we wanted it had a good DVR um, I'm a little bit old school so I like regular cable I got excellent service from it and uh, we had a little bit of TV for everybody let's see fire bird heartbeat take that out I'm gonna go <gasps> what a stinker. Let's get this guy. Just don't shield. Yes! Um, so anyway, it's kind of laid everything out in his spreadsheet. Oh, I fizzled too. Okay. So I laid everything out in a spreadsheet. At the end of the day, we went with direct TV streaming. Um, on top of that, I already had, you know, the, the little things like the Disney Plus and the HBO um, streaming and uh, the ESPN3, the ESPN Plus. So it ended up being a really nice fit so and I'm happy with the service okay so uh, if I I could fire cat fire cat yes three yes I can mm -hmm. 
He hits me, and the damage is 165. I hit him. And it's 96. Poof. Poo poo. I think I can fire cats to get rid of this. Take this out. Yeah, I agree. When it comes to something like that, I need to be thorough. I think I made the right choice. I fizzled again. Here I am talking about uh, accuracy and I'm fizzling. It is. It's disappointing. And uh, for now, I was able to go. It, it was a little bit of a savings to go to the direct streaming, but I lost probably one channel that was important. But I picked it up in another area, um, and that was the golf channel. Um, because I got, I got Peacock, which we were going to get Peacock anyways because it has, like, golf tutorials and stuff. So I was going to get it anyways. And we lost it with the transition. Not because they don't offer it, but because... Well, how come I'm not picking that up? Oh, no! Ugh. Let's try to get that health bubble. Um, yeah, Peacock is excellent because it has all these shows that I can watch that I maybe missed out on. But um, we don't have the Golf Channel right now because we went with the Choice Package for DirecTV Streaming instead of the Ultimate to save a little bit of money. But if we went with the Ultimate, we would have paid the same as when we had regular cable TV. Wouldn't have been such a big deal, but um, it is nice to sort of um, to have that little bit of savings. So. so you like The Office. I've watched a little bit of it, not too much. It's one show I've never really gotten a chance to see. So, uh, it's great to know that it's there waiting for me to binge watch. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is a fizzle struggle. I really like all the actors who are in the office. Which is going to be, which is nice. Let's see. Oh, just heal yourself. They're all really good quality actors. I don't think I'm going to make it. That was close. <laughs> Still though. Oh! <laughs> That's, I think I'm doomed. Oh. 24. Wow. They do. I think this is why I never liked them. They're horrid. And they pack a nice good punch. And I think when I first started playing, another reason why I didn't like them was because they are, um, they're ice. I was ice. And they tower shielded. And I was just like, this really stinks. <laughs> 